Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all first i want to say happy monday i hope everybody's having a wonderful day please stay safe and all that good stuff there's a lot of stories going around right now about people going into the wrong addresses and getting into the wrong cars at the gas station and they are getting hit up okay y'all and half of it is because people are not paying attention Okay, so start paying attention, y'all. Make sure you're at the right address when you're going to deliver something and all of this other stuff because people are jumpy. And there's also people out here that's dirty. That they don't mind, you know, taking, you know, something small and taking it, it, taking it to something big. And at the same time, people are jumpy too because people are getting robbed and stuff like that. So if you haven't ordered nothing and stuff like that and somebody just shows up to your house, and you are already paranoid and people is doing street pharmacy stuff, all kind of stuff. Um, take that in consideration to make sure that you are at the right places. You know, if you are a delivery person, when you get an address, put it in. You can pull up the house. It'll show you how the house looks. Okay, y'all? Um, and then that'll let you know if you're at the right spot, too. So, it's just um, some a lot of stuff, places do that. A lot of places don't. But the ones that do, do stuff like that as well. Pull it up on your phone. It'll show you how the house looks and stuff like that. Um, and people that's receiving packages and stuff like that, you know, turn those lights on and stuff. So especially, you know, when it's getting dark and you're still waiting on, you know, packages, turn your lights on so they can see because, you know, it's a lot going on. Okay, y'all. So just pay attention. You know, people be getting hit up left and right. This guy just got taken out because he went in and pulled up in the gas station with his girlfriend and, you know, he gets out the car, go in the gas station, come back out, and go get in the wrong car. It got hit up, y'all. Hit four times. So, it's not no joke out here. People's not playing. And people's on the edge. You know, think about it. If you were sitting in your car and somebody just opened it up and get in there with you, 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 you know, you don't know how you're going to react. And if you have a weapon, you know, you get right to carry a weapon, um, if you think your life in danger, then, you know, that's what some people are going to do. So, you know, be careful. and Get off these phones and stuff. Because they said this guy was on his phone. This is why he got into somebody else's car. And his, his girlfriend watched the whole thing go down. Watching him go get into somebody else's car. And it didn't happen to a lot of us before. That you come out and you go to go to a car that looked just like yours. And it happens. But try to pay more attention and be more alert of things, y'all. Seriously. Um, y'all, let's get to Shaquilla. Let's get to Shaquilla because they had a big meeting. And excuse me because my nose is stopped up again. I told y'all my sinuses is, is, I don't know about this year. The sinus been just way worse than ever. I don't know what is going on. Um, so I want to say shout out to One Life Family, okay, and Star. Um, because I got this little piece of this clip off of his video. You know, he's always putting up some good stuff, okay, about the Shanquila case. All right, y'all. So, check him out because he be, you know, he be bringing it, okay? Um, so, I'm going to play this little clip. And this is the lawyer of Shanquila Robertson. And, um, she is, um, talking about this meeting that they just had and what it was about and and you know their rules and laws and this and that and this okay so we're going to talk we're going to listen to this for a minute bring us up to speed on what took place last week when um the robinson family shanquella's family met with the fbi okay sure thanks for having me hey my son and my condolences to you Tanika, on your family's laws thank you so much for you know coming right back in the game as always i appreciate you and all the work that your team does um last week we had a meeting with the family with two of the u.s attorneys and about 10 or so of federal agents and they basically said that they did their own independent autopsy after the autopsy their autopsy results indicated something different from the mexican autopsy which is that there's no neck injury they decided that they would now start an investigation into the case 
then they spoke to witnesses, which they didn't tell us specifically which witnesses. And then after they did that so-called investigation, they decided not to file charge, not to file homicide charges. Now it's important two things. One, because it's a transnational criminal case, the only charges that they can bring against a U.S. citizen that commits a crime against another U.S. citizen is murder. So they can't um, charge anybody with uh, assault or battery or something like that. So it has to be a murder charge. That's still not an excuse because obviously we see what's in the video and we know that Shankula Robinson's body had contusion on her head. She had a big knot on her forehead and that she um, had some contusions around her eyes and their autopsy actually confirmed that she also had swelling on the brain, which indicates that she had head trauma. So it's all the signs line up in terms of the condition of her body for what we see in the video in terms of her being beaten. Um, so to me, our first question to them was, well, what is your autopsy results? Why did that make you start finally investigating number one because remember our urgency has always been to make it that you know every day that passes that they weren't investigating or questioning the people who were in the home the travel mates they could be getting their story straight they could be deleting text messages they could be doing anything and so the FBI admitted that there was a delay because they didn't start that investigation until after the autopsy results came out which honestly makes no sense to me, but it it is par for the course. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna tell y'all basically what I got from this, okay? Basically, you know, what you get from this is the ball is in Mexico's court right now, basically, okay? And you have to, like I told y'all before, you have to look at things two ways. Either everybody is working together, Cabo 6 and Mexico. You know, they are all to blame. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Or one of the other is at fault for what happened to Shanquila, okay? And y'all, the ball is in Mexico's court right now, okay? Now, she said that, you know, they had a meeting with the feds and he had a meeting with um two u.s attorneys okay and u.s attorney told them that they basically didn't even start doing an investigation until after the autopsy report came back okay um she said it don't make no sense but at the same time um it does when it has something to do with something that didn't happen out of the country you just would you know the feds and everybody u.s attorney was just sent back somebody in a box um you got in, in some paperwork and nine times out of ten you got to question the paperwork first you got to make sure that that paperwork is is what it say it is now if they would have did um an autopsy report and um it would have came back the same thing then you know fine all right y'all but due to the fact that it came back and it was totally different than what mexico said it was about and why she actually went out um the ball is at mexico's court right now mexico has to now do some digging they have to do some investigate and y'all got to think about this y'all y'all have to think about this you know look at those four americans that just went over there to um mexico and uh, mexico was trying their best to make sure that they're allegedly um sent the people back to america that actually did what they say they did okay y'all or was that just a plan to get them over here i don't know y'all okay people are always trying to come over here in the country i'm trying to figure it out myself okay why would you want to work with america on the four people that came over there and they hit up two of the people and two of them got, came back home um why wouldn't you want to take care of this case when it's so nationally known okay and they can take a loss as far as people want to even come back to mexico and you know for vacations and stuff like this this is going to make them lose money okay so the ball is in mexico's court right now because the police or the people that's you know in um the position to um make this arrest happen 
whoever it was. Um, the ball is in their court now. And they kind of got to start all over from scratch right now, to be honest with y'all. They got to put their foot down. Mexican authorities have to put their foot down. And now they have to go back and question the people in Mexico about this whole thing. And, you know, let them know that if they're lying about something, you know, they're going to find out. Okay? Um, they have to go back and question some stuff now. Because it seems that they were sent off too. The ones that's in authority. Because they seem like they want to work with Americans by, you know, sending them other guys back here saying that they was the ones that did it. So why not send back the people that have something to do with this unless it has something to do with a big ring like I was telling y'all about the body parts ring. And that's a, a, a billion dollar a year business. So either, uh, you know, the police going to go and try to find out what really happened to Shanquila over there in Mexico, the Mexican police, um, just in case they were sent off with, you know, people working together, lying and all of this stuff. And then it just came back to nip them in the butt because they lied about her whole, you know, what happened to her and why she passed away. They lied about a lot of stuff, y'all. So the ball is in Mexico's court and they got to, you know, they got to come to an agreement with themselves. Is they going to take this investigation further, go back and question people, okay, and get down to the nitty gritty of what really happened to her? And if they, st you got, what Mexico has to pay attention to, is they going to stick to the same story? Or are they going, is the story going to, you know, start messing up, Okay. Because if the story start messing up, you already know, you know, somebody telling the truth and somebody ain't, okay? If it start messing up, that somebody's lying, okay? Um, if it stays the same, then they have to start digging up the history of the people that was all involved in this whole situation. As far as the maid, as far as um, the guy that did the autopsy report, they got to start digging on some stuff and trying to figure out... Is these people liars, okay? Is they working together to cover up something that's more than what it was, okay? This is what they have to do. They're going to either have to change the charge. That's another thing they're going to have to do. That paperwork has to be redone because uh, it's not femicide. Unless it's femicide on their end because it's not femicide on our end, okay? Um... From what we know, you know, Dejanay is a female. So if Dejanay was the one that allegedly, you know, put them paws on her and, and, and this led to what happened to her, then change that paperwork and get it right, okay? It ain't even femicide. That charge needs to be... So you are off the top, you already know that paperwork can be redone because there's false information on that paperwork, okay? It's no femicide unless it was on Mexico in Either the maid was or she, he, or something like that, or something, okay? That's the only way that this could have been femicide is that they know something we don't know. And so far, the paperwork is wrong. So a lot of stuff need to be changed. Um, do U.S. need to put a little pressure on them? Yes. Some phone calls need to be made by the feds over here and the U.S. attorneys. They need to be contacting Mexico authority, trying to push them to see what are they going to do about the situation. Don't just be like, oh, we closed the case, and yeah, if y'all got some more information, bring it to me. You know, they need to make some phone calls and let them know they, they're serious about finding out or getting to the bottom of what happened to Shanquila, y'all, okay? D this is where we start. This is where we start. We got to have to do some digging. They got to have to go back and question people. And, you know, for some reason, I keep wondering, um, where were there cameras in that villa that, the you know, the kids didn't know anything about? That's another thing I'm wondering. Were there cameras there? And if there were cameras there, they know that there was, you know, a poll session. So is it a possibility that, you know, that's another thing that possibly, y'all, Mexico was holding over the Cabo Six head, okay? Y'all, we got footage of you putting the paws on her, okay? Um, the ball is in y'all court. You know, give us some money. You know, what's this about extortion? You know, when you bring in Gerald Jackson, you got to kind of wonder, like, was there some extortion going on here? I'm just saying, y'all, okay? 
somebody is clearly standing behind the person that's filming on her phone because you see her fingernails and somebody's standing on the side of her somebody is standing behind her okay so there's several recordings going on y'all okay in that room so we don't know if you know there was a camera back you know the mexicans do they do they have a camera in that villa y'all i'm just saying that they use this as, like I told y'all, the perfect storm to take Shanquila out and point the finger at them because they have this footage of them putting paws on her. Okay, y'all? We got to look at this in all different ways. And there's a possibility, y'all. Okay? There's also a possibility that something else went on after the camera went off. Okay, y'all? But it's a possibility that that was the end of it as well. We don't know. That's the whole thing. We do not know. So it's a lot of possibilities out here. And it makes you wonder, you know, was was uh, Cabo Six Nim pushed to put that video out? Did they have to put that video out? Because, you know, could they have been people going to extort them? I'm just saying, y'all. Did they have to put that video out? Think about it. If you want to extort some money out of people, okay, we're going to, put, we're going to release this footage that y'all was putting paws on her and her neck was broke. This is what they could have said to them. Give me some money. We don't know. We don't know the circumstances. All we know is Nazir said it's bigger than what y'all think. We do not know, y'all. It seemed like some extortion stuff was involved in this mess, y'all. Give us this money or you go down for taking her out. You never know what's going on with this whole situation. We gonna, you know, have them send you back here for a crime that we committed. Situation, y'all. And then we're gonna have to figure out, you know, if... If, y'all, okay, if Mexico has something to do with taking Shanquila out, y'all, if they did, is they going to come up with some paperwork for the say, send Cabo 6 over here now? And is Mexico going to refuse even sending them back there? Because now, I mean, the U.S., is they going to refuse sending them back there? Because now the U.S. know that some ain't right in the water, y'all. Okay, they know that they received some fake paperwork saying that this woman passed away from a broken neck, but her neck wasn't broke. So now U.S. is looking at them a little sideways, y'all. Okay, I keep telling y'all the ball is in Mexico's court right now. Is they going to do right by the U.S. and dig deeper into this whole situation? Because it was a reason why. That Mexico started pushing all these different stories our way, y'all. It was a reason for that. It was a reason for this fake paperwork, okay? There was a cover-up from the start. So, you know, the thing of it is, they need to check their people now. They need to check their people now. Because right now, you asked them want to talk to, because they said that they went and talk, talk to, you know, spoke with witnesses again well not again but after they got the autopsy report this is what the u.s did went and spoke with most likely cabo six now okay and there is no broken neck so you can't charge them you know uh for what they said that was on that paperwork because that's not what was wrong with shanquilla y'all the ball is in mexico's court and we have to make sure that the pressure is put on for them to go find out the real culprits and who did what to Shanquila when they went off to get some breakfast to probably cool off. Now, not saying that they should not have put their hands on her, but y'all have to take this in consideration too. Shanquila was a grown woman, y'all. And word on the street is, Shanquila was worth between 700000 to $1 million. And she was 25 years old. This is what they're saying her net worth was. What she was worth. 
at 25 years old, just coming out of college, y'all, this is what Shanquilla was worth. This is word on the street, y'all. A lot of stuff is coming out now. New stuff coming out about even Shanquilla, what she made out here in these streets, y'all. And you have to ask yourself, y'all, what all was Shaquilla into, y'all? Was this all about PPP loan stuff? What kind of mess was they into? Okay? Which made her a target. Think about this. She's 25 years old. She has a net worth of, you know, of assets and her, you know, money worth of $700,000 to $1 million already. She's a perfect candidate for extortion. Extortion, y'all. She's a candidate for extortion. We do not know what happened after Cabo Six left the villa to go cool off and go get something to eat, some breakfast up, whatever they said they went, because they went out. The maid came in. The maid came in, y'all. And somebody said this, and I was like, this is true, so true. Because this don't make sense. You know, if Shanquilla was feeling good enough to leave from her bedroom to go to the bathroom and be face down in the bathroom, she was still moving around. She was just sickly. She was feeling sick. Probably from all of the sippy sippy the night before. And whatever else they didn't do, y'all. How do we know there were in cameras there? And they're showing us what they want to show us. And they're leaving out what they want to leave out, y'all. Just think about this. Shanquilla worth 700 to $1 million. She's left in the villa by herself, y'all. Okay? She gets taken out, and then we have an extortionist, Jill Jackson, that extort people that came up with the video. How the heck he come up with the video? I don't even know. Okay, y'all? Um, we have doctors coming by the house, by the villa, talking to Cabo Six, telling them, you need $5,000. There goes some more money they're asking them for. If you want us to even see to her, you got to give us $5,000. This whole trip has became about money. About money. Y'all. That keeps her over there. Over 10, 11, 12 days. And then they send what they wanted to send back here to the U.S. After they then took whatever they want off of her embalmed her so you won't even know what they took out and they sent her back with some false paperwork saying that the reason why she was taken out was because she had a broken neck and they put that on there because they probably had cameras in that villa to know that there was a a, a struggle went on and they did something to her and this is what they put on them because they got this footage of them putting paws on y'all Okay? Was they trying to set them up from the start? Because they were lies from the start. And like I said, they probably were scared to say anything because they had put paws on her, y'all. So we have to go back now and think, you know, what is Mexico going to do, y'all? What are they going to do? Is they going to make it right like they did with the four other, you know, Americans that came over there and they sent back some guys so they can be punished? Huh? Well, was that their way to just get some more, you know, that people over here without, a, you know, a, a green card? I'm just saying, y'all. They're living a better life here in jail than they probably was living over there. We have them now. Was that their way to get over here? Or was they working with the U.S. to, you know, make sure that we got justice for, uh, uh, you know, 
American citizens. Because if that's the case, why can't we get justice for Shanquilla, y'all? That's my question now. Why can't we get justice now? Okay? This case has been all over the place. The very people that wanted this story out here so the world can know that they can get justice is the same people that's doing interviews right now. Her sister and them and mama. Talking about if it wouldn't have went public, you know, this is the reason why it's all messed up. It went public. And the public has been the one helping them. So I have to ignore the sister with her stupid ass. I have to ignore her, okay? I have to ignore the fact that, you know, about to go find me and look over their heads. Them two right there, okay, y'all? Because what mother that talks to your daughter's friends and they say she's not feeling good and you don't say, let me see her, turn the camera on so I can see how she's doing. Because if she would have done that, she would have saw that her eye was bloodshot. She sh she would have seen that her lip was bust. She would have saw that. And she could have right then called the police over there in Mexico and had them sent over there to her. Okay, y'all? When they first said she wasn't feeling good, she could have been on it her own self. Okay? She didn't even ask to see her. Y'all. And when she come back here, they, they over there fighting that girl. That girl. So I have to look over the mama now, okay? I even have to look over the father, you know, because he put on a better show than the mama now do. Not saying that it's a show, okay? Not saying he didn't love his daughter. But you got some explaining to do. With the bail stuff, I'm just saying. And the checkerboard floors and all of that other stuff. You got some explaining to do because that points fingers at something else sinister. Okay? So everybody got a little something going on right now when it comes down to this whole case. That needs to be addressed, y'all. Anyway, I just wanted y'all to listen to that little bit because they'll have me going on and on and on, y'all. But um, let me know what y'all think in the comment section about what they said. They said they cannot charge them for lesser charges like assault and battery and stuff like that. It has to be, you know, a demise charge. It has to be in order for them to move forward. So do Mexico need to change its paperwork up and change it from femicide to what it really was? And do they need to be looking out for the people that's in Mexico that could have possibly played a part in this? Not just Cabo 6. Okay, y'all? So, anyway, y'all, um, let me know what y'all think. Because this is, this is a bombshell. You know, everything that's coming out is a bombshell. Even Shanquila's net worth of almost a million dollars or a million dollars is a bombshell for a 25-year-old, y'all. Which makes you wonder... What all was they into? Okay? What all was they into? And everybody got to stop, you know, baby and Shaquilla acting like she's a little innocent bystander because you are the company that you keep, y'all. Okay? Y'all can't look at Cabo 6 and look at them as, you know, monsters and not look at Shaquilla that is some suspect around her because why would she want to hang out with a bunch of monsters, y'all? This was the people that she chose to be around. Okay? This was Shanquila. This was her, you know, a little circle of friends. So you have to look deeper and tell what off was Shanquila into, y'all. Because whatever it was, it was some serious money being made, okay? And if she was making that type of money, um, somebody else would be making some money too off of whatever it is that she was doing, okay, y'all? How many PPP loans did they open up, y'all? Okay? It's a lot going on with this whole case. All right? And the, the, the fans got their hands full, even with the PPP loans, to find out where that all leads them back to. Okay? Because, and where did all that money go? Okay? It's, it's a lot of things that needs to be investigated when it comes down to this case. Okay, y'all? So, um, let's sit back and all we can do is... You know, wait and see what all seeps out here. 
and we can go from there because other than that like i said the ball is in mexico's court right now are they gonna do right by her or they're gonna brush it under the rug because it's more to it than what we think they probably have this baby girl's body parts and then sold them okay y'all allegedly all right y'all so we're gonna sit back and see what's going on and what's gonna be done anyway y'all please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks so much for watching peace